In this video, I will uh, build a virtual model of the globe Earth and the plane Earth. And I will compare them in uh, case of eye level, how much the horizon decreases from eye level in both models and how far you need to go up to see a curvature and how strong the curvature is. And to do that, we need to first reference the globe model uh, in the Earth radius, maximum nearly 6,378 kilometers, nearly 6,380 kilometers, and the minimum uh, 6,357. The average is considered 6,371. So that's the basic measurements we base our virtual globe model of and more later. Because the globe Earth, the globe model, doesn't have the same radius on every spot, uh, I will uh, do a universal uh, radius that's the same uh, for every single angle of the sphere but i will make it bigger than the maximum because if you make it bigger it's harder to see the curvature and it's harder to see the eye level fall off of the horizon so if we see a curvature in the virtual model with 6380 kilometers we definitely have to see a ray, uh, curvature in the normal globe model because the normal globe model will be much smaller and the curvature and eye level fall off will be even easier to see than in this virtual model I base in 3380. So if we see in this model a curvature, this model must have a minimum if not more curvature than this model. So we will use this so we can be for sure that we have the uh, that we see the curvature where the curvature should be. So now to the plane earth model. The plane earth model is surrounded of from of glass, kind of a firmament, and is surrounded by Antarctica. Antarctica is down there in the globe model. In the plane earth model, it's around like a ring. And of course, uh, there and there, it's it's just wrapped wrapped up. Uh, then you have the plane Earth model. Of course, the globe Earth model is a sphere. The plane Earth model is basically a circle, and that's what uh, we do our measurements from and get the plane Earth measurements from the globe Earth me measurements by comparing these two and wrapping wrapping the globe earth up to fit to the plane earth so how do we do that so uh we have the antarctica the south pole of the globe earth wrapped around like a ring so it's wrapped up and we have the circumference of the globe earth is the same as the diameter of the plane Earth, because both both rings, both uh, half of the rings together, the circumference is the same as the diameter there. So we go from that, and we take our virtual model radius, uh, six thousand three hundred eighty kilometers. Uh, that makes a circumference of 40,086 kilometers and then we set them both equal because they're both the same basically and we trust that uh, the measurements are correct kind of from the globe earth model that it's not too too much from uh, from the real measurements which i hope strongly uh so we take the 40,086 kilometers and divide it by two basically and we have the radius of the plane earth and that's 20,000 
of 43 kilometers and in meters it's about wait uh six million three hundred eighty thousand meters radius for the globe earth and the plane earth has 20 million 43 thousand meters okay guys so i've built the two models in blender I have separated them in layers and I'm switching between them via a pool var variable and have visibility toggled on and off. And I first start with the plane model. It's a circle, of course. And its radius is exactly one grid and the grid is exactly one length length of one and my my uh, measurements are in meters so this radius right now at the scale of one is exactly one meter and when i turn back it's exactly 20 million 43 thousand meters or twenty thousand thirty three kilometers Okay, so, and there I got my globe model. This is the globe measurement. I will show that it's one at the scale of one, it's exactly one meter. You see, exactly one meter. And I, of course, I need to put it down so that at the middle of the grid, the zero upper point of the sphere is. So I can basically start from the from the top of the sphere and not, you know, sticking inside or something. I want to compare these two and not <laughs> some crazy stuff. So I got meters uh, six million three hundred eighty thousand meters or six thousand three hundred eighty kilometers radius for this virtual model it's the radius of course is a little bit bigger a small little bit than the original globe earth model but if you see a curvature in this model you definitely should see minimum the same if not more curvature in the real globe earth model so it's valid for comparison still it it wouldn't be valid if the radius was smaller than the maximum earth radius because then you could argue oh you you took a smaller radius so it's easier to see the curvature in your model no in this model you have a harder time to see the curvature and the eye level fall off than on the real globe model. So I show quick my scripts. These are scripts for um, resetting height from the camera and getting the angle and altitude of, of the camera and uh, aligning the eye level always parallel to the camera so I can see it perfectly. So let's start the simulation and compare these two. We will compare uh, curvature and eye level fall off. And there we have the eye level, you see, and we can go up in degrees. And you see there, wait, I will turn uh, the thingy off the show frame rate and profile we don't need this that's that's just annoying so let's go again you see um there 90 degrees 91 92 
okay there's minus two so we get the degrees there there we got the eye level so you see when when we go down in degrees the eye level stays the same that's what i programmed him also so we can always see where the eye level exactly is doesn't matter what angle we have and that's that's very cool i think because the eye level eye level that's the script i showed you before is always staying parallel to the ground as we as we uh stated to to the idealized ground as i stated in my eye level definition and this eye level we will use in this simulation too so we're on the plane earth model right now and what do we have we have altitude of 0 0.3 meters let's go to two meters two meters so it's nothing really going on you have a completely uh flat horizon no curvature at all of course and it's a plane earth model means a circle and let's see let's go sorry let's go 150 meters so you see you see a little bit of things showing up here a little bit of texture <laughs> and yeah we, we are at 150 feet uh not feet sorry meters <laughs> and the eye level still stays the same the horizon is still completely on the eye level let's go 300 meters still eye level the same completely plain horizon there's no curvature or something 500 meters still you you see more and more from the texture more or further but the horizon still no curvature or something i mean the plane earth model it's hard to have have these things let's go thousand meters <laughs> meow thousand meters it's and maybe a minimal fall off but not really noticeable i mean it's <laughs> it's still like it's nothing nothing really at thousand meters let's go uh two thousand meters okay still nothing three thousand we see we see we're getting more and more hate we see more and more and more of of this plane but still we have the horizon keeping on eye level but you see minimal minimal depreciation of the horizon still it's it's nearly at eye level but but not not perfectly 9000 meters wait 8 8000 88 eight, i think that's mount everest height you still have completely plain horizon let's go further 10000 meters still looks pretty good i mean you see lots of textures going on you see we're very high already but the eye level nearly stayed the same i mean it dropped off a little bit but not not really much i mean you see it a little bit we go up and up and up and up and up and up uh 15 000 meters let's go oh now now you see now you see uh the eye level depreciates a little bit but you know still completely uh plain horizon there's nothing really indicating of the curvature 30,000 meters it's very high already right nearly 100,000 feet now we're at 100,000 feet 30,000 meters let's go up uh 39,000 meters Felix Baumgartner jumps from this height there is no real difference i mean a little bit 
let's go further up 50,000 you see a little bit depreciating and you see you're very very high high up already let's go 100 thousand 100,000 and you see there is a little bit of eye level fall off 150,000 it's more and more 300,000 meters Six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, one million, that's one million. And there you have a drop off of, and you see a little bit of curvature going on at one million meters height and you have to fall off in the middle of three degrees pretty insane and you go up 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 two million three million no four million five million you nearly don't see it anymore And there we go. Let's uh, wait. <laughs> I think. Wait, is that. <laughs> okay, 11 million. <laughs> 21 million. <laughs> okay. 100 million meters height uh, the, the 101 million meters height you see this so that was the planar let's get back and reset the angles so Switch to the go. You already see there is a little bit of fall off of the eye level even at two meters height. That's because of the curvature of the globe. The globe never rises up completely to the horizon if you're not really, 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 really low. Okay? If if your eye doesn't stick halfway in the earth, there is nearly no chance you get a complete rise to the horizon sadly um yeah and let's go 50 meters a uh, little bit change 100 meters you already see uh the texture coming on 160 meters 200 meters 300 meters you already see um the eye level fall off gets gets very uh high very quickly on the globe because the globe oh, of course is uh the maximum you're at the maximum height and you mostly look down because it's rounding down and down and down and never goes up again you know on a perfect sphere you get you get a massive fall off when you when you go higher you need to look more down and down we got one degree at 1000 meters we already got one degree fall off at the eye level on the globe model at a bigger radius than the real globe model 1500 Two thousand. Look at this. Look at this eye level drop. This is the globe size, the globe model. 
This is the eye level drop at 2,000 meters. Okay, 2,000 meters. 2,500. 3,000. Nearly 2 degrees. Let's go to 2 degrees. It's nearly 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 meters height. And we got the drop off of 2 degrees. That's insane. 4,000 meters height. And you got the fall off of 2 degrees. 5,000. 6,000. 7,000 meters. 8,000. And now, now you get a free, free degree, I think. Wait. No. Nearly 9,000. 9,000, and we got the free degree fall off from the eye level. And what do we see? I mean, we saw it before. The curvature is very, very well visible. Let's, let's, let's go back again. Uh, you see the curvature already is visible even at 6,000. You see there, curvature at 4,000 meters already visible. Even 2,500, a little bit visible already. And thousand. We see curvature very strongly. Let's it's look at this. Look at this. This is very strong curvature here. Let's go up. Sixteen uh, sixteen thousand meters high. We got four degrees and we got a pretty cool fall off uh, curvature. And yeah, pretty cool fall off. Remember, we were staying parallel to the ideal as ground, eye level. Four degrees fall off. Let's go. Five degrees fall off at about 25,000 meters. And the curvature very, very well visible. Nearly 100,000 feet. High level fall off is huge. Huge. Let's go. 300,000, nearly 6 degrees fall off. Curvature is way beyond visible. Let's go 39.5. We got a little bit of over 6 degrees. Let's go to 6. There are 33,000. Curvature is very much visible. So 39,000. Five about is where Felix Baumgartner jumped. This is the horizon fall off. This is the curvature you see at this height on the globe Earth model. And this is the height where Felix Baumgartner jumped. The famous Red Bull Stratos jump. Let's go further. 45,000. 45,000. Nearly 7 degrees fall off. 50,000, we are at 7 degrees fall off. Nearly 50,000. <laughs> Let's go. 60,000, we are at 8 degrees. Nearly 6, I mean 62,000, we are at 8 degrees. Let's go. 9 degrees at... 80,000 meters height. 
100,000. We are at minus 10 degrees. Minus 12 degrees, 142,000 meters. Curvature very well visible. And the uh, eye level drop off is just insane already. So let's do this as long as we see it. So we got 13 degrees. It's 170,000 meters. Let's go. Minus 40, 14 degrees at 19,194,000 uh, meters. That's as far as I can measure with this without having to calculate the i need to look down already uh to see to see what's going on and you can you know you can measure it from uh we were eye level is at 90 degrees and uh you need to just uh Look, uh, 90 degrees minus these degrees when I perfectly align with uh, with the globe. It's not the case, but you can uh, back calculate it how many minus degrees we have. You can do that. So we got 250,000 meters. 300,000 meters. Unit 50,000 meters. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred fifty thousand. Five hundred thousand meters. Sixty six uh, six hundred sixty one thousand meters. <laughs> seven seven hundred thirty thousand meters. Eight hundred two thousand meters. Eight hundred fifty one thousand meters. Ninety, uh, nine hundred thousand seventy thousand meters. One hundred thousand meters. Uh, again, that's the eye level. The earth is down there at one hundred. Uh, we're already at one, yeah, one one million meters. Sorry, um, yeah, one million two thousand one hundred seventy-seven meters. Let's go. One million two hundred five thousand. Wait. One million five hundred thousand million two million three million. Four million, 
5 million. Let's go. 9 million. <laughs> Let's go. 21 million <laughs> meters. <laughs> We're looking down with zero degrees. Let's go further. 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 70 million, 82 million, 90 million, 100 million. So, yeah, that's the gold model and now let's compare them shall we two meters globe plane let's go up 200 plane globe already see a little bit of curvature at the globe minimalistic really five hundred I mean it's really barely visible but can see something already evolving one thousand plane stays the same Wait, uh, 4,000, 10,000, 20,000, 20, Trump, 60, 80, 100,000, Two hundred thousand, and we're already at. Uh, I mean, yeah. The disclosure. I mean that there's a very big difference between the two models, and I will use uh, these virtual models to reference real stratosphere footage to find out with yeah uh, real basics just uh, what model is more likely to be and what model we are living in based on the stratosphere footages and other footages that are shot by real people everyday people that uh, send balloons in the stratosphere and so on or or planes that uh, film the landscape and the horizon they're mostly at a uh, 90 degrees angle i mean it's going up or down of course but you know, mainly they're they're bouncing somewhere there. At least the balloons and the the planes. Of course, they're going up and down sometimes, but you can kind of uh, measure where the eye level can be somewhere at least. I mean, in good measurement. So yeah, that's that will be uh, the base for future investigations of stratosphere footage and so on. And yeah, that was it for this video. And I hope you learned something about the difference between the globe model and the plane Earth model. And use it maybe for your own research.